hello dear students today we will start the new module that is module for you material science and that first point is quantum free electron theory of metals so before going to this quantum free electron theory of metals let us see a brief introduction or discussion regarding the classical theory so paul drude proposed a theory to explain the electrical conductivity in metals on the basis of this theory expression for electrical conductivity sigma is obtained as so according to paul drude classical theory the electrical conductivity sigma is given as n e square tau divided by m right so this expression already you studied but this paul drude theory or the classical theory has some failures so if we look at those failures the failures of classical theory or drude lorentz theory then in that first failure is temperature dependence of electrical conductivity now dear students we know that the conductivity of metal is proportional to inverse of temperature that is sigma is inversely proportional to temperature as you go on increasing the temperature the conductivity will go on decreasing because as you increase the temperature the resistance will increase and when resistance increases the conductivity will decrease but but according to drude lorentz theory one arrives at a condition that sigma is inversely proportional to root of t this is experimental uh, factor but this is theoretical but which is not correct and that is the reason the classical theory has failed then the second failure is electrical conductivity and electron concentration now according to equation for conductivity sigma is directly proportional to n so the equation you can see sigma is directly proportional to n as the number of electrons increases the electrical conductivity increases right but but in some metals the value of n for zinc and aluminum which are uh, poor conductors of electricity the zinc has free electron value 13.10 into 10 to the power of 28 per meter cube and aluminum has a free electron value 18.06 into 10 to the power of 28 per meter cube but we know that these two metals are less conducting zinc and aluminum are poor conductors compared to copper and silver the copper and silver have a free electron value 8.54 into 10 to the power of 28 per meter cube and 5.85 into 10 to the power of 28 per meter cube this is another failure for the theory now you can see zinc and aluminum are having the higher electron concentration but they are treated as poor conductors copper and silver having lower electron concentration but they are treated as good conductors so which means that the electrical conductivity is not only dependent on n it is dependent on other parameters which cannot be explained by the classical theory and that is the reason this theory has been discarded now after these failures we will move to the next theory that is quantum free electron theory so before going to this quantum free electron theory let us understand or uh, let us discuss what are the assumptions so the first assumption is the energy value of conduction electrons are quantized the allowed energy values are realized in terms of set of energy values this is the first assumption the second one is the distribution of electron in various allowed energy levels occur as per pauli exclusion principle this was not there in the classical theory but it has been included in the quantum theory right and then the free electrons travel in a constant potential inside the metal but stay confined within its boundaries so they can travel anywhere in a constant potential but they will be always confined within the boundaries and the last one is the attraction between the free electrons and 
the lattice ions and the repulsion between the electrons themselves are ignored. So the lattice ions are positively charged ions and the electrons are negatively charged particles and that is the reason the attraction between the electron and the lattice and the repulsion between the electrons and the electron is always ignored. We will not consider those attraction or the repulsive forces. Now, on the basis of these set of assumptions, we are going to develop or discuss the quantum free electron theory. So for the examination point of view, the failures of classical free electron theory and the assumptions of the quantum free electron theory are important. Thank you.